welcome this is uh, lesson number 102 this is regarding the sysbench benchmarking for PostgreSQL performance uh, testing so what is uh, sysbench sysbench is an open source tool that can be used for performing the benchmarking for the operating system as well as some of the databases like PostgreSQL and uh, MySQL in this case we are going to perform the performance benchmarking for PostgreSQL using some dummy data that will be creating during course of this so I have PostgreSQL 13 already installed on EC2 instance now I'm just going to switch to user PostgreSQL operating system user then I'm going to use the curl once this is done just uh, install the sysbench and check the version Install Sysbench. Check the version. And then what we are going to do is we are going to initialize and populate data. So uh, let's create a role with the name Sysbench, a database with the name Sysbench and then we will give the full permission on the database to the rule so this is done the next step which we are going to do is you have to add it your pg underscore hba.com file and just cross i have done it in advance but what you have to do is just make sure that uh, you have the proper proper permission for this suspense user i've already added it but this is what you have to do it just reload the con configuration that should be more than sufficient then let's try the connection with the suspense you're able to connect just try connecting to suspense There is no uh, table available as of now. That's what we are going to do using the sysbench. We are saying the database driver is uh, PostgreSQL, OLTP size, let's make it 500,000 rows. Uh, 10 tables, there will be just one thread, the host name mentioned, port, the role, uh, the password, the uh, database where it is going to be created and just run it. Do in the real scenario when you do it you have to increase the number of threads so that you can see how it is behaving but this is just a demo environment and what it is going to do is uh, using just one thread you have to just increase the number of thread number of rows just to see how it behaves that's how you are going to test the concurrency and uh, the performance benchmarking though this is not the real data but it, it uh, at least gives you some kind of uh, information how your system might behave when there are heavy load on your system so concurrently there are 10 tables where in some uh, 500,000 rows are getting inserted just make sure that uh, you have uh, enough storage because this is going to create a lot of wall files and uh, uh, you need to clear them up if it is if it is filled up Now you can see that uh, eight tables uh, with the uh, eight indexes created on them they are being uh, generated nine and this is the tenth one the tables which are being created they are with the name sv test one to sv test ten there are no reads uh, it is just the right uh, you can see uh, there is uh, some other value also 
uh, the total it is going to do 1890 the transactions this is just uh, happening under the one transaction it is 0 0.1 per second and the queries which are being uh, populated it was 21.86 queries uh, per second there has been no uh, errors which are ignored uh, the uh, the statistics has gone for 86 uh, seconds the number of events is just one this is the important metrics which you need to to understand uh, the latency in milliseconds uh, this is uh, the uh, minimum, uh, the average is 86,000 uh, milliseconds, the maximum is also that 95%. So uh, on an average, the latency, it, it remains same. It is just one, uh, one thread we have used. If you have more than one, then it is going to really help. Uh, thread fairness, so it is just one thread uh, which is just going to take uh, average execution time of 86 uh, milliseconds. But you need to increase the number of threads just to see how it behaves. In our case, it is just one, uh, one virtual CPU, and it is just uh, so it is it is very lightweight, uh, free tier machine. But uh, you can uh, check it for for higher configuration system. You need to increase that. And uh, what else you can do is you can see that uh, the same has been captured over here. You can uh, check the data verification, like the data is uh, populated or not. So if you need uh, some data for some other testing, this is one of the good way to populate the data. And uh, this is done. And what you need to check it now is uh, if you have to do some uh, read-only uh, bombardment, uh, you can do that. Let's let's do this just to see how it is going to behave. I have initiated it with the uh, 10 threads, though in reality there will not be uh, be uh, that much of uh, of uh, uh, CPU available over here. So thread, it is it is not going to be actually applicable over here. But we will see how it is going to behave. So transaction per second and others. Threads are started, transaction per seconds you can see. Now let us go a little bit up and initializing worker threads. For the 10 seconds, it is uh, uh, it is 10 transaction per seconds. Uh, it is query per seconds, you can see. Uh, read and write, you can see uh, how it is happening. There's the reads uh, which are happening over here. The number of the reads which are over here, it is it is this much. The transaction rate now is uh, 240,850 uh, uh, transaction per second. It is, it is over here. So this will help you to analyze how the system is going to behave when you uh, uh, you have uh, enabled your query in in multi-thread mode, so it is it is good to find out the um, latency, uh, the total statistics, and you have a lot of information over here. Uh, what are the reads which are happening? What are the writes and other information? with different settings you can find out how it is going to behave so this was done with running the test with the number of threads 10 uh, report intermediate results every 10 seconds it is going to display the result and initializing random number generated from the current time the last one you can check it like this with threads we have given 30 let's now give it 20 and how it behaves it's just like you have to see what are the transaction rate what are the read rate and uh, transaction per second those those informations are really helpful 
So you can see query per seconds which are uh, running at this point of time with the uh, with number of threads uh, um, 10. So you need to uh, compare the data with respect to um, the information which you captured earlier and uh, now. So you can see the, the read operations, the write operations, how it is happening, what is the transaction rate, and uh, the TPS, this is important, the latency information, uh, you can find it out. So with different numbers of thread, uh, different uh, amount of the data which has to be inserted you can find results and you can uh, you can compare them so you can see the execution time earlier it was uh, 29 uh, seconds now the execution time is, is 30 seconds so there is a slight change because the overall uh, capacity of the system remains same and we just uh, decreased it uh, from uh, from uh, 30 to 20. So a lot of informations to check the transaction, the queries, uh, the reconnects if it is happening. So you can see the information is over here. This is the number of the thread, 20 threads, transaction per second, queries per second, and read, write, and other op operations which are happening. The latency in terms of uh, the percentage, it is 95%. Uh, and uh, uh, the earlier also, it has been 95%. It is just we, we change the thread from 10 to 20. Since it is a lightweight machine, you will not be able to see much of this is just kind of simulation. This is this is not the real data, but you should be able to do when you find the, the real data. To some extent, uh, PG Bench and SUS Bench really helps a combination of both when you have to do some kind of uh, rough testing in your environment, like how the environment is going to behave, then it is, it is really going to helpful. And uh, all the information is uh, mentioned over here. You can find out over here. I hope this is going to help and uh, thank you.